Now I introduce a deterministic policy gradient for reinforcement learning. Stochastic policy actor critic method has a big challenge for model free problems due to the unknown action state value function for policy evaluation. For example, we have a policy network, pi, a input as a state S. It generates a Q distribution over the action. Since we cannot determine which action and which Q function as an output, so we cannot use Q as a critical function to evaluate the policy. That's a problem. So now we change to the deterministic policy. That means, for example, give a input uh, has a policy network of pi. We know exactly, you know, uh, at the state S, what's the specific uh, action we selected for the Q. Then now we have a way to use the Q as a critical function to evaluate the uh, policy pi. So to use the policy gradient method, uh, we need to find the uh, object function g under the uh, deterministic uh, policy. Like I say here, this is g, g. Uh, the, the, the special, uh, the uh, different from a stochastic policy is uh, here. The a is uh, specific. Once uh, you know we know the state s, we know exactly which action will be selected under this uh, uh, deterministic policy. <laughs> In the uh, actor uh, critic uh, method, uh, we use the uh, actor to, uh, to select uh, action under the uh, policy. Well, the critic function evaluates uh, policy pi by minimizing the loss through a one uh, step temporal difference method. The idea is here, for example, from this uh, state S, uh, we use the uh, deterministic uh, policy and we know exactly uh, which action we select. And then uh, how can we use the Q as the critical function to evaluate this uh, uh, policy pi. We're not you know, just uh, use Q to evaluate this uh, uh, policy. We use the one step uh, temporal difference you know, to get the target. And the from the target and the Q, that means from uh, Q at T and the Q uh, at T plus one to get this uh, uh, loss of function. Use this uh, loss of function as a loss of, you know, of the policy network to improve the uh, policy pi until uh, the loss is uh, smaller than the grid pyramid. So from a, uh, uh, from a deterministic policy uh, gradient theorem, we have the following uh, gradient for the objective function. Uh, the special uh, case is here because uh, uh, this uh, we know exactly how uh, is, is, uh, select action uh, A at uh, uh, state S. So the, we just uh, you know explore the uh, Q variation in the action space. That means from uh, this uh, uh, A at uh, uh, state S to A prime uh, at a state prime. How uh, much the uh, reward changes. Uh, here, since you know, from this action, uh, from Q at T to Q at T plus one, we have a, a reward uh, R, so the R plus the Q at T plus, Q prime, uh, S prime minus the uh, uh, Q at, at T. So use this as a loss function to improve the, to prove the, the uh, policy network. Uh, how can we get the loss? Uh, uh, the loss, the loss is that we uh, need uh, 
uh, for example, here is a policy network, uh, here is the input, uh, input is uh, the state, we generate uh, specific uh, action from uh, you know, the network output. And then uh, how can we use the queue to evaluate this uh, policy? We uh, can design another uh, network. I call, for example, the target network. Target network follows the same policy. So we don't need, we only need to train the policy network. But the target network will just uh, copy uh, the uh, policy network as a parameter uh, theta to here. We just uh, run uh, the target network generator target. General target, this is theta uh, for the input uh, or at the uh, as the prime state uh, plus the uh, the reward from uh, uh, t to t plus one, then uh, we generate this uh, loss. Use this uh, loss we for the improve or uh, the policy. That means we are upgrade to this uh, uh, this uh, this theta by the uh, gradient of the uh, law, loss of function. So for the further details, please reference this. Uh, please check with this reference. Thank you. Bye.